Uh, Riff is by a band called Escape the Fate. They're like an emo band. They were popular, like, you know, 2010, just, you know, kind of. And the uh, name of it is not good enough for truth and cliche. That's just the intro guitar riff. Really catchy, though. has a lot of good techniques. You're going to have with some alternate picking left and right. And then you have, like, it's like reminiscent a pull-offs, but you're not doing. You're just doing. So, um, it's good to be dancing around open strings like this with your fingers. Uh, at the end of this, I'm going to be eating a really spicy pepper. See if I can still play it just as, you know, proficiently as I played it there. That's just mostly for fun. I think it's kind of a test. If you can play it better than I can with the spicy pepper, you're doing great. We'll move the camera in a little bit closer. Uh, I'll kind of go over this. There'll be some overlays on the bottom of the screen showing you the tablature, overall shapes. We'll kind of just, you know, work our way through it. But uh, let's get into it. All right, so when you're breaking down this riff, there's pretty much three elements to it. There's the chords. There's the picking pattern. And then uh, there's the actual frets, the finger movements that you'll be doing during that. So let's start with the chords. The chords will be the easiest aspect. Everything's in four, by the way, so it's one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. And that's pretty much the riff. So let's start with the chords. We're gonna start on the um I guess it's only these three strings. It's the A, the D, and then the G. So start on the third fret of the A. Third fret. We're going to do open on that uh, D string. And we're going to do 4th fret on this G string. So again, it's going to be 3rd fret on the um, A. Then open on the D. And then 4th fret on the G. And if you're going to play those two together. Okay. Now when you're learning this, because of how the riff is and how the, you know, your fingers are going to be intermingling during all the transitions, you are going to want to use your middle finger and your pinky to hit that third and fourth fret. So it's going to be... Three, open, four. Then take that fourth on the G and move it to the second fret. That would be your second chord. So our first chord is three open four, three open four, three open four, three open four, three open two, three open two, three open two, three open two, three open two. And I'm using my uh, pointer finger on the second fret of the G. So you can kind of practice this taking your pinky and your uh, your pointer finger on that G string going. Because pretty much how your, your pinky and your pointer finger will be acting during this riff is like as you're doing the chords. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if you add in that open string, that open D. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if we add in that C, that uh, third fret on the A, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's push as far as we go. So, just go over one more time. Three, open four, three, open two. When you're in this position, three, open two, and you're using your middle finger, open string, and then your uh, pointer finger, you can actually slide everything up for the next chord. It's uh, the fifth and fourth fret, so it's five open four. So five on the A, open on the D, fourth on the G. You go, and you just move your fingers up. Five, five open four. 
So that one's. Then you're gonna lift off this pointer finger, but keep your middle finger on this fifth fret. And that's your fourth chord, if you will. There's a rotation of four chords, but you're changing the accents between and then So with this one, you can practice this too because your finger's in this position. You can go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. First chord, first chord, first chord, first chord, second chord, second chord, second chord, second chord. Still second chord, still second chord, so second chord. So you're gonna switch from that second chord, go back. I'm gonna switch from this first chord with the the, two, the second fret accent. Come up here. You do the four, five open four to five open open. So let's go from the very beginning. Three open four. Go to three open two, and then five open four to five open open. One, two, three. Four. Two, 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 four, 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 four. Open, 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 open. And these next two chords are pretty easy. So now you won't be doing anything with any of the other fingers. You'll just be using this middle finger. You're gonna slide this down to the second fret. Two, open, open. So if we go back up to where our finger position was, it'll be four, four, open, 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 slide down to two, open, 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 open. Talking about this chord being open. Two, open, open, two, open, open. The chord after that is just three, open, open. So it's the same concept, but third fret instead. One, two, three. And that's all your chords. So we'll go over them one more time and then we'll probably get in a picking pattern, okay? So. One, two, sorry, that's a three open four, three open two, five open four, five open open, two open open, two open open, three open open, three open open. A, D, G. That's the strings I'm referring to. Three open four, three open two. Five open four, five open open. Two open open, two open open. Three open open, three open open. So one, two. Sorry for three open four. One, two, three, four. Switch three open two. One, two, three, four. Slide up to five open four. One, two, three, four. Five open open. One, two, three, four. Slide down with that middle finger to two open open. One, two, three, four. Slide up to three. That middle finger. One, two, three, four. So all together, it'll be one, two, three, four. 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 Now, let's get into the picking pattern. And for this part, we're gonna move the guitar over here. I'm not gonna be worrying about my left hand just yet. We're worrying about my right hand. We're talking about the A, D, G string. So really when it comes to the pattern, it goes A, D, G, D, 
We'll go a little bit slower. You do that fifth string. A. So you move up the fretboard. Go back down to the D. Go back up to the G. Then you're gonna descend all the way to the A. So you're gonna go D, A. Sorry, there's D, A. So. That's where we are right now. Now we're gonna go back down to the D. Then go to the A. Then we're gonna go skip the D, go to the G. We're gonna ascend again. So ascend, descend, ascend, descend all the way back down, skip ascend. One, two, three, four. A, D, G, D, G, D. If we put that into a chord, like I say that first one, three open four, it would be three open four, open four, open three four. Now one more time, three open four, open four, open three four. Inside that riff though, if you remember us playing the chords. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We'll actually do that same pinky uh, pointer finger switch. So it'll be like two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four. You do that similar style with the next string. It's a little easier though, since you're not using your pinky. Three, open, four, open, two, open, three, two. And slide up. Five, open, four, open, 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 five, open. This will probably be the easiest part for the song is when you're doing two open, 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 two, open, open. Two open, 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 two open. And same for three. end that riff like that like in the intro of the song I think they do it for two total rotations of all the chords and then they'll end up doing that but that's mostly just for fun when you get to that point until then you can kind of just loop that however you like so let's see
that's pretty much the riff. Um, you know, it's a little confusing having all those open strings in there, and like especially the jump between like the. Just the picking pattern is a little strange, but I think once you get the hang of it, you'll really start to, you know, kind of understand what's even going on with the riff, how you play it, you know, listening, listening over and over again always helps me a lot, a lot with all this stuff. Uh, I think it's time now to jump into the spicy licks, you know, the part where I eat a hot pepper. I think this time I'm choosing habanero. Um, We'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. Like I said, if you can, uh, if you can play that better than me while I'm eating a pepper, you're doing very well because I know this riff pretty well, and, and spice can be distracting. Anyways, catch you on the spicy side. Ooh, that's a spicy pepper. That is spicy. Probably. I've actually never had one. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat this. Hit record on that, try to play that riff, see how we do. I figure it's a fun little way to end the video and I've always really wanted to eat spicy things, you know? So, without further ado. Spicy. Oh. Ooh. 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 <sighs> 